In this video, we'll be using this theorem that we just have seen to solve this problem. I'm going to start with the transition matrix P, and in the end, I want to find what the limit as n goes to infinity of P to the n, but I don't want to do it the long way with diagonalization. I want to use this theorem and show that it's just a steady state Q repeated and repeated and repeated. So to do this, I'll need to find Q and I'll need to prove that P is regular. Otherwise, the theorem doesn't apply and I will not be able to use 3. trick on you, I didn't give you this entry. How would you be able to find star? Well, if you remember, since it's a transition matrix, That column represents the odds of landing in the first state, second state, third state, if you start in the second. So since the total probability of where you end up should be equal to 1, the sum of that column should be 1. So star plus 3 fourths plus 0 should be 1, and that tells you that star is 1 fourth. It's not true for rows. The sum of the rows is not equal to 1, but sum of the columns, since it's all starting at one point and looking at every possible exit, that has to add up to 1. Now in B, I need to find a steady state. So Q is in E1, so let's find what E1 is. I have P minus 1I, that's going to be minus 2 thirds, uh, we said 1 fourth, 2 fifths, 0 minus a fourth, 2 fifths, 2 thirds, 0 and minus 4 fifths. I'm going to reduce this. I've done it for us so that we didn't have to do it live, save a bit of time for everybody. So minus 6 over 5, minus 8 over 5, and 0. So I have, as expected, I have a free variable that's always going to happen because we know that lambda equals 1 is an eigenvalue for P. And so my eigenspace will be made up of vectors. Let me put 1 in the final call, uh, row, so I'll get 6 over 5, 8 over 5, 1. So for any value of x, actually let me put it here so I don't have to erase later on. For any value of x, I would get p times this vector equals this vector. But now we need a probability vector. So if q, which is a, b, c, is equal to 6 over 5, 8 over 5, 1 times s, then 1, which must be a plus b plus c, remember that's because I have a probability vector, and that's going to be equal to 6 over 5 s plus 8 over 5 s plus s, so I get 
15. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I get 6 plus 8 plus 5. I get 19. And so I must, don't have a choice, I must use the eigenvector with s equals 5 over 19. So my steady state is going to be 6, 5, 8, 5, 1 times 5 over 19. So I'll get 6 over 19, 8 over 19, 5 over 19. Right, so that's your steady state. So now I'm hoping to use the theorem to find positive infinity of p to the n. I'm hoping to use the theorem because otherwise I have to diagonalize p and that's going to be a pain. So to use the theorem we need that p which was um, one third, one fourth, two fifths, zero three fourths, two fifths, two thirds, zero, one fifth. I need that this matrix is regular. Sadly it has zeros in it, so I need to take powers. I've computed P squared. Um, is, you'll be happy you've done it. So I'm getting 17 over 45, 13 over 48, 47 over 150, 4 over 15, 9 over 16, I think that's 19 over 50, it's a bit hard to read so I'm sorry if this is wrong, um, 16 over 45, 1 over 6, 23 over 75. The numbers themselves are not important. What's important is I don't have any zeros. So my matrix P is regular and that's good because that means I don't have to do as much work. So by the theorem, I'll get that Q is Q, Q, Q. Let me take the 1 over 19 out. I'll get 6, 8, 5, 6, 8, 5, 6, 8, 5, and that's all. Know that from the theorem we get even more than this. We get that whatever state you start in, the limiting behavior, if you apply p many, many times, the, the state, the vector state that you get will tend to this. Whatever you start at, you'll end up close to this.